morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Chuck Rager from Ogallala United Methodist Church in Ogallala, Nebraska. And today, Renee Meyer is with me again behind the camera. And we truly are in the neighborhood of Ogallala. We are with Judy Atkins down on Spruce Street. And you will hear some cars and trucks go by undoubtedly. So we really are in the neighborhood. Judy does a lot of painting on windows around town for different events. What are some of the events that you paint windows for, Judy? Well, I paint for the Keith County Fair. Uh, then we do for the Ogallala Indian Summer Rendezvous. I paint for Christmas. Some people have asked me to come and advertise for a sale they're having in their business. So I can do about anything. And now we're getting ready to paint windows for the National Fishing Tournament that's going to be in Ogallala. All right, now, we just recently had the Keith County Fair, and you painted a bunch of windows around town. How many windows would you estimate you painted for the Keith County Fair promotion? 57 windows. 57 windows. And now you say you're going to paint a few windows for the big upcoming National Walleye Fishing Tournament that will be held at Lake McConaughey in late August. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Now, how long have you been doing these window paintings, and how did you get started? Well, I started about 30 years ago. Uh, Julie Peterson from the um, Silver Thimble was asking if my daughter and I would like to paint on windows to advertise for the fair. And so I said, sure, we'll try that. So I've been doing it for about 30 years. Now, around town, there are still some of the paintings on the windows from the Keith County Fair. And if you drive around and take a look, you will probably see a number of the different paintings that are on different businesses that Judy has painted. And you will notice that uh, most of them are, are unique and different. Is that right? There's no two alike. And now, where do you get your ideas to do the paintings, Judy? Um, I go to children's coloring books. I've done um, some teacher books. I go to just about anything, a menu from a restaurant. I get online and look at some clip art ideas. So I just get them from just about anywhere. Some from the newspaper. Wow. Now, as we have uh, talked about and as people have noticed the different paintings around town and how they're all different, do you trace the windows first? Do you use a pattern? How do you do it? No, I just look at a piece of paper like the one in my hand here today. And I just look at a paper and then I just kind of start drawing. Sometimes after 30 years, some things just come naturally to you. Oh, all right. Now, the one you have in your hand that you're going to paint here on Repeat Boutique is a picture of a fisherman mm -hmm. holding a fish, which is a great picture to use as we are promoting the big walleye fishing tournament coming up here in Ogallala. What is the hardest part of painting the windows? Well, one of the hard parts is cleaning them up afterwards. It takes just a little bit of time and, and muscle, but I have a good helper that helps me. So. Uh, all right. And now, what kind of paint do you use, and how did you discover this paint, and uh, what's the interesting story behind that? Well, I use latex house paint, and when I was teaching in Big Springs, the superintendent was a former art teacher, and he told me to try it, and so we have been ever since. And then to clean it up, we used to go out with our scrapers and just chip away at it, but he told me to spray it with Windex, and then it just kind of bubbles and comes right off. Now, you were telling me earlier that when you first started doing this and you went to a store to buy the latex paint, they were a little hesitant to sell you the paint when they discovered what you were going to use it for. Absolutely. The people at True Value said, mm, I don't think so. I, I think that might be too dangerous. We might ruin a lot of windows. But I showed them how it would work, and now they're selling me paint. Wow. And how many years again? 30 years. Oh, my. That's a lot of windows, and that's a lot of years, and that's a lot of paint. It is. Well, hopefully you will drive around town. Maybe you'll be somewhere in the neighborhood. You'll see some of the paintings that Judy has done on the various businesses. And as you can hear, we truly are in the neighborhood with the train whistle blowing. So it has been good, Judy, to visit with you today. Thank you for all the beautiful artwork you do on the windows around town. And thank you for this time together. Let's close with a prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for our neighborhood, a neighborhood full of train whistles. 
and cars and people. And we thank you for the artistic talent that you have blessed Judy with. Lord, we thank you for this community and all the people therein. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Judy, thanks for your time today. It's been good to be with you. And I am certain that when you are painting, there are people that stop by and visit with you. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts. I get to visit with a lot of nice people. Oh, good. Well, you never know where we'll show up next. You might see Judy somewhere out in the neighborhood. Stop and visit with her. But until we see you next time, know we'll always be somewhere in our neighborhood. Bye.